Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and for today I have this R hole. Now, if you have been watching my channel, then you know that I haven't been recording for the past five months or something like that. That's because I uh, became a second grade teacher and pretty much all of my time was spent at school planning, teaching, and doing all that stuff. So this haul, it actually happened throughout all those five months. Um, I went to this store in San Francisco. It's called Flax Art Supplies. Then I got something from um, Jackson's. Then I got something from Da Vinci, um, Da Vinci Paints. Then I got some stuff from Amazon, so basically from all over the place. Um, like I mentioned, I have been collecting them now for the past five months. To be honest, I didn't have a lot of time to do a lot of art while I was teaching. Right now, I am I'm on summer vacation, and hopefully next school year I get to teach again. But let me start by showing you everything that I got. These guys, I got them at a art art fair or art yeah art fair that happened last week in san francisco uh but i talked about this uh brand before case uh case of making which is a handmade company in san francisco so let me start by showing you the stuff that i got from da vinci um let me move all of this aside so I got three things from Da Vinci. One, well, first, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I'm a little frazzled, if you haven't noticed, just because I'm rusty at filming. And, you know, I wish I had more time to do art while I was teaching, but um, that didn't happen. But anyway. So I placed this order like maybe last month. So I got two palettes and then wash from Da Vinci. I want to try out the wash. Um, I have been using the dollar. Uh, let me look it up. Here, I've been using this, the Dollar Rowney wash. And I really liked it more than the Himi wash that you can get from Amazon. So I want to try different brands to see which one I like the best. So I decided to go with the wash from Da Vinci. Now Da Vinci, in my opinion, is a brand that is very underrated. I think they have great products um, at an affordable price. And you can definitely find more sets uh, shopping at their website versus shopping at Blix or Jerry's. So these are the colors that I got or that came in the set. We have uh, Thalo Blue, we have Magenta, we have Black, we have two whites, and then we have Yellow Light Hunter. So basically it's the beginner set that you will use to um, mix so if you are a beginner i highly recommend you get a set with a limited palette so you could work on your color theory and mix your own colors so i'm excited to try this i think i can't remember what channel i saw that they mentioned that this ones are not as opaque as, as other brands so we'll see then let me make this aside then I got this watercolor palette. This one I uploaded a shorts where I swatched it and I pretty much unboxed it. But this is the Da Vinci palette. This is the Joyce Mother Violet palette. Now, one of the things I love about Da Vinci is that they collaborate with artists to make unique palettes. So in this case, in, uh, instead of getting 12 uh, half pans you get 10 half pans and then one full pan of the color that this artist created and hers is called mother's violet is it beautiful purple with granulation the swatch that i did here doesn't make it justice but as you can see you get beautiful beautiful colors not something that you would get in your standard um, 12 half pan palette and like I mentioned, this is something that Da Vinci does in collaboration with artists. 
the other one that I got is this one and honestly I do not remember <laughs> what this one is so let me open it oh wait this is a set now I remember these are like their pastel tones I forgot what they call it was it spring set or something like that so basically it comes with some pastel tones and if you know anything about me it's that I love pastels um, so here we have we have sea and sky which is a color that I don't um, I never seen before from their line obviously all of these colors um, except for maybe the Naples yellow are going to contain white a uh, white pigment to make it more of those uh, pastel tones so if you don't like opaque watercolors and this probably is not going to be for you but we have sea and sky we have mint green we have the Vinci red tint we have peach we have lavender and then we have Naples yellow um let me see Naples yellow it says life fashion is excellent py35 cadmium zinc sulfide yellow py43 yellow ochre so yeah this doesn't uh, have any white but i believe it's still on a pink pigment so very excited to try this i don't think i'm going to swatch anything today because i have a lot of things that i need to go through so let me move on to more watercolors um here i have this three new ones by daniel smith this is mayan violet oh fush fush fuset fuset genuine i don't know how to say it and then kins royal blue this is part of their uh, primatech line and then maya violet i thought if i remember correctly in the swatch it looked granulating and i love granulating colors um and then kins royal blue uh, i don't remember why i got it but let me see does it have white maybe yes it does have white so it's going to be an opaque color so these are three i don't think i have a lot of the primatech colors from daniel smith but like i mentioned usually the primatech colors they granulate so i'm excited to try that okay let me see what else i'm so sorry i have a mess in here in my desk um from art supplies from school supplies i'm still out by the way i'm going to school for a um teaching credential program so my entire art room is my art room slash office slash study place so it's a mess okay then i have the Denu the winter newton wash uh this one i got from amazon they had a good deal on it um i don't remember it was less than 30 dollars i believe but this is again their beginner set you have the primary colors which you get six tubes you have a white you have primary yellow primary red um primary blue they even sent a green oh nice permanent 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 green middle and then you have a white that is um usually you can mix your own green so i'm not sure why they included this green but we'll see uh, i have used some of the winsor newton designers wash and i really like the consistency and how creamy they are so i decided to try this set and like i meant uh like i mentioned this this type of sets are great for beginners especially for um for beginners to learn about color theory and i'm not a beginner but i'm still learning about color theory i love color theory i love mixing coming up with my own combinations so these type of sets are perfect plus also if you if you try this set and you like it then you could uh, keep investing on the Winston Newton designers wash same thing with the uh, the Benchy wash if you try it out and you like it then you could pop potentially you could buy more colors if that's something that you liked okay I have some paper 
because I mean besides from watercolors I love getting papers for some reason I don't know why like I have a ton of sketchbooks that I don't I haven't used so if you have the same problem please comment down below and tell me I'm not the only one that keeps on buying sketchbooks and they are just sitting there not getting used but anyway so this is the Hanulule Hanemuli Hanemuli um, I think that's how you say it. This is the cappuccino pad. It's toned sketch paper. So it is not white as you can see. It has a color. So I thought it would be fun to try it out and see what it can come up with. Especially with colored pencils. And I got some pastel pencils that I thought I could try in here. Then I have this handbook. The sketchbook. This journal. It's a watercolor journal. It is is 60 pages it's not 100 percent cotton and this one i got it at flax so flax is a store in the bay area i believe there's one in oakland and one in or two in san francisco so i like the size see if i like this paper or not so i'm excited to try this out then i got another one by hanulu hanulu i'm sorry i don't know how to say this um Watercolor sketchbook. This is 100% cotton. It has 60 pages at 120 pounds. So it's not too thick, not too thin. It's cold press. Uh, as you can see, it's new. That's my um, what I was saying. So this one is usually smaller than I will go for. I'd like to go for a little bit bigger. But then I thought for on the go if i want to go paint at starbucks or a coffee shop i could easily take this one and i like the hardcover actually let me open it now that we're here and this was about 18 dollars so here if we open it we take this away As you can see, it's a really thick, nice cover. And then the pages are not too thick or too thin. They are perfect. Um, I just wish when when companies make this type of sketchbook, so they will put the information inside so I remember exactly what it is. Um, but I'll have to write that. It's not, not a big deal, but that's something that I wish companies would do. Um, then I have, this one is a recent buy, again, at uh, Flats. This is the cold press finish, Fluid 100, 100% cotton, cold press finish. It's a small little pad compared to other ones that I have. And I didn't notice that it was a little bit dirty, so that's a bummer. So I'm excited to try this. i been trying a lot of... 100% cotton papers lately just to see which one is my favorite and which one uh, which one is my favorite and to invest more on that type of paper so far the one that I like most is the Winsor Newton watercolor paper um, I really really like it it a little bit more than the arch the arches paper but that's just my opinion if you have a favorite watercolor paper that's 100% cotton, please tell me in the comments down below so I could check it out. Then, I believe, I don't remember what I got this one from, to be honest. But this is the Lyra Germany Aqua Color. And the reason why I got it is because I love the Caran d'Ache neon colors. So I thought that maybe this would be a a dupe or something comparable to those um, I really like that it's pretty much water soluble let me see if I can find a piece of paper I was not going to swatch anything but here I am um, so let me use actually this brush 
this is another brush that I got. This is the Princeton. I love Princeton brushes. This is the Velvet, Velvet Touch. Uh, I really think that Princeton makes some of the best brushes out there at different price points depending on what you like or what you're using for. So these ones are a little bit creamier compared to the current Dosh. So basically, this is water soluble. So these are really fun. I really enjoyed using the current Dosh, um, the current Dosh neon colors. But you have to be uh, careful because they have they, the current dash has two lines with the neo colors. They have the neo color two, which is the water soluble, and then they have neo color one, which is more of a wax pastel, and that one is not um, water soluble. So let me do another one. Ooh, I really like the color. Ooh, look at that. They're very butter, uh, buttery, and I like the pigmentation. I need to look at how much this was compared to the current Dosh, but I believe this was cheaper. Let me see. Okay, so this is a current Dosh. This is a Delira. This is chunkier. This is a little bit longer. What is the... I'm wondering where is the like the size or the grams or whatever you measure this with. I mean, just based on this, it feels like you get more product with the Lyra. Uh, might might not be true, but I so far with the swatches, I like how they look. Okay, moving on. Since I already introduced. The brushes so I got this one this is the Princeton Velvet Touch and Filbert number eight then I got a Velvet Touch again stroke half an inch and then I have a little one for details so this is a Filbert 4 like I mentioned I really love Princeton brushes they have um, they have different lines at uh, different prices and even their afford affordable uh, brushes are really good so if you're looking for brushes you could definitely look into princeton i really like the princeton snap brushes that you can find on amazon and i put some of the links down below as well as my amazon storefront for stored as well as my amazon storefront where you will find some of my favorite art supplies that you could buy at amazon i will get a little bit of a percentage so at no extra cost to you, but I'll get a little bit of commission. Um, okay, so these are the brushes. And then I have this random pencil. Uh, I don't even remember why I got it, but here we are. Oh, and I have one more sketchbook to show you. This tiny little one. Look at how cute. Again, by Hannah Luli. Hannah Lou. Hanelu, Hanelu, Hanel something. Um, I thought this would be cute to do like a little project. Uh, I mean, look at it compared to my hand. Cute. And I believe it's a zigzag. So you will open it and you will get like this little accordion. Um, so cute. I'm excited to see what I can come up with. In this little sketchbook um i have washi tape i love washi tape this one i also got it from flats and then let me show you the watercolors that i got from case case for making okay case for make, making so these are handmade watercolors it's a small business that is located in san francisco I believe I have talked about them before in my channel. If I did, then I'll link the video um, somewhere in there. I think I did some shorts with them. So basically, small business, okay, in San Francisco. I went to this art fair last weekend in San Francisco and they had a booth in there. So I decided to grab more. So in this palette, I have 
all of my case for making watercolors. So as you can see, some of them are well loved. Now, because they are handmade, um, some of them will show some inconsistencies. Like for example, this one is cracking a little bit. But when it comes to their pigmentation and how they perform, I really like them. As you can see, I also have some pastel tones that of course are going to be opaque. Um, but I wanted to add a couple more to my collection um, in here. So I'll probably do a short swatching them just because I have a lot of, um, I have a lot of things to swatch and this video is already 20 minutes long. But I got a couple reds, I got some more um, pastel tones. This one, Cypress, is a green that was really pretty. So usually how they look here on the on the packaging, that's how they're going to look like. And then we have to pause. And this, this one, Aqua. This color on their swatches, um, it was beautiful. It was like a really nice blue with granulation and just I just fell in love with it. Then we have... What is this one? U pine? I can't tell. I don't know if that's a U or a W. Um, and then another pastel tone and a yellow. So hopefully this will complete my collection with the watercolors. The nice thing about handmade watercolors is that they tend to do colors that are not available in say those available in those like in the established brands so for example the the pastel tones i mean they are available in some other brands but not they're not a main main product that they would like to produce i'm not sure if i'm making any sense but if you are in san francisco or if you are in the market for handmade watercolors i definitely recommend you check out their website and last, I have this palette, and I got this um, Jackson Jacksons, and they had a sale for Schminke, and I have always been wanting to get my own Schminke watercolor palette for some reason. Um, so when I saw this was on sale, I couldn't resist myself and I got it. Um, so this is the Schmincke watercolor palette. It has, let me see, ah, kind of it has all of these colors and I actually wanted to buy the one that had, I remember how many the other one had it was a, such a good deal too but it was sold out so it was not um available and i was a little bit sad but still i mean i got this one i remember how much i paid to be honest but it was very affordable compared to um compared to how they usually go so i am very excited i might probably do if you're interested in me just doing a like opening all of this and swatching them please let me know in the comments down below and i'll um do that for you as well as if you're interested in the case for making i could do a shorts or uh, i could open them for you in and i probably do a shorts actually uh, but this one i could definitely make its own video because look at this beauty look at that i am still um in shock at how much affordable at how much i paid for this it was really affordable um so i think this is everything i feel like i have some other stuff but like i mentioned oh i have this one too this angora opaque watercolors i saw someone here on youtube and if i can find her channel i'll link down the video that she used this one this brand and she said they were really nice especially for um skin tones so i decided to give it a try i mean they are not usually what i go for because they're cake pants and they're definitely more opaque 
I tried it once and I was a little bit not impressed but then again um, I didn't have that much time to actually um, work with the uh, palette um, but I'll keep trying it again and see if I like it but I mean the colors are really nice especially as yes, skin tones you definitely get here you know your magentas black some um, more of those browns your um, sienas and stuff so I mean it works as a um, skin palette um, but like I mentioned, I need to play with it a little bit more. It's definitely in the opposite of, for example, Schmincke or Daniel, Daniel Smith um, because the texture and the way they behave is way different than, you know, this watercolors. Um, and now I think that is all. I might, I might have probably missed some items, but like I mentioned, my art room is now my office, it's now my study place, it's now where I study and take classes, so my room needs a major makeover. Uh, oh, and if you're interested on a um, studio tour, please let me know and I'll make sure I'll clean up my mess and I'll make it presentable for you. But this is all I have. Thank you so much for those of you that have been um, watching my videos even though I have not been uploading I really appreciate you and if you want to be part of this little community that I'm trying to build here on YouTube please like and subscribe and hopefully I get to post again in one video per week like I used to so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye